was already in the gym, in the facility, on the court. I think I started back in, when I was in eighth grade. Uh, back then, you know, I was more of a basketball, soccer. But as soon as I started squash, I just got addicted. I couldn't, I couldn't let go of it. It's such an interesting sport, one I love to play, but so many people don't know what it is. There are uh, four walls, all of which are in play. The floor is in, the ceiling's out, and uh, as long as the ball hits the front wall first, the, the ball is live. It's two players, they rotate shots, the ball can only bounce once, and it's a, it's a very competitive, fast playing game. I think the New York Times historically ranked it as you burn the most calories per hour playing squash than anything else. It's got a great history too. The British invented this. They were occupying territories in India and Pakistan and Egypt. They built squash courts so that their army men and their generals there had something to pass the time with. And this is really where the sport blew up because when, when their occupations ended and they returned to Britain, the squash courts remained and with that, the natives of Pakistan, Egypt, India all took up the sport and when they did they really revolutionized it. And once they took over as the best players in the world it hasn't changed. And to this day Pakistanis, Egyptians, Indians always top the rankings. My dad just plays as a teenager. He's from Pakistan. That's where he grew up. So he used to play uh, as a teenager with his friends. Uh, he introduced me to the sport when I was in 8th grade. Well, I used to play in a lot of tournaments when I was in high school. Uh, the best part was meeting people from all over the country. Yeah, with similar interests. I kept in touch with them. I still do keep in touch with them. I went to the Junior Nationals, which was a lot of fun. I mean, I didn't get very far, but being at that level, it's still cool to see a lot of kids from like Egypt and around the world. Not a lot of people play, but the people that do play take it very seriously. And uh, going to tournaments and everything, it's, uh, it's a lot of work and a lot of effort. And it teaches you a lot of different things, like discipline and uh, how to get better at something. The exercise is unbelievable. I could go run on a track, I could go lift weights, but just by coming out every day and playing squash, I get all the exercise I need. It's incredible cardio, it's competitive, it keeps me interested, and I always want to improve. You have to get, it takes a while to adjust to the pace of the game and, and learn how to kind of manage the space with another player who's so close to you at, at all times. It's not, you know, it's not endurance, it's not running straight for, you know, it's not like a mile. Instead, you know, you're back and forth, back and forth, you know, moving really rapidly. Well, I will say squash is like 90% athleticism and then the other 10% is like uh, the mental game. So I guess you gotta be very quick and agile. It's indoor for one, so you know, it doesn't matter what the weather is. Uh, you can play it all year round. You know, most sports have a season. Squash, you know, instead, you, know, you can play it anytime you want. It forms family in the winter. We all get close, we become friends, and it's really an enjoyable experience. It looks much different. It's much different inside the court than it is when you're watching. Don't judge it until you play it, you know. It's a sport that the more you play, the more you want to play, and it's also a lifetime sport. And all of those together are why I love sports.